Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT, do you remember Yo. the story what? of the guys who uh, cheated at the fishing tournament? Oh, retribution is so sweet. Yes, I remember. Cuyahoga County, yo, that's our old stomping grounds, man. Yeah, them, people that's out the homeboys. Getting them radioactive mercury fish. Yeah, I've, I've swam in the Cuyahoga River. Ew. I, I have. Yeah. I don't care. I mean, hey. Whatever. We got to get wet sometimes, you know? Whatever. I only got, I got three eyes just like everybody else. Yeah, exactly. So essentially. They pleaded guilty. Yep, they did. They, they had to. Uh, they were guilty. They Shit. agreed to three year suspensions of their fishing licenses, Ooh. and they had to give up the bass boat worth $100,000. Um, they dropped the grand theft and possessing criminal tools charges. Um, criminal tools? I don't, I don't know what that comes <laughs> the from. The uh, weights and the fillets? And then, uh, <laughs> that they if stuffed they... in the fish? They recommended a uh, six months of probation, and that later that this can be expunged from their record. So yeah, oh, you know, we should probably we should probably give some backstory. So there was a, a fishing tournament, couple guys who were sweeping these tournaments and uh, Cuyahoga fishing. Yeah, tournament. they were just like they were just like the the uh, just, just and we'll use a good one uh, with the guy who has one nut that was a cyclist. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of his name right now. <laughs> Lance Armstrong. <laughs> they were the Lance Armstrong. Would you go straight for his balls, man? That's so weird. <laughs> that was so that was Lance weird. Arms. They were the yeah. Lance Armstrong of fishing tournaments. Uh, yeah, I guess they were blood doping their fish. They were essentially putting weights and uh, fillets of fish into fish that they caught to make them way more so that they will win tournaments. They were eventually found out when one guy was like, "That fish is way too small to weigh that much." And it was it was a viral video. They got caught, had to go to court because they'd been essentially stealing money. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. It doesn't really give them a punishment. Um, they, no. They I expect them to have to give some of the prize money well, back. Yeah, but. he had to give back the boat. But they had done this at numerous tournaments. And these tournaments, you win tens of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. You win boats. You win whatever. Mm -hmm. So they... Can't fish for three years. That's crazy. Have to give up their boat, which you can't fish for three years anyways. Your boat's going to get trashed sitting out of the water for for, for that long. Uh, and then you can't fish. Yeah, what the it, fuck? yeah. So you can't fish. You can't fish. Yeah. No. Right, and and you can still go to somebody's pond and fish on exactly. private property. Um, Ooh, don't don't let them catch you fishing. No. Right, exactly. Like. You're like in your bathroom in a bathtub. Yeah, he's, he's like, with honey, I got the bass in there. Just fill them up. <laughs> but Cops so they, come knocking at your door. It's like when they we know uh, you're fishing in there. It's like when they have like people in the banking or like hedge funds. They they like they 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 do these things. They're like, hey, we're gonna. They've made billions of dollars. They're like we're gonna find you two point eight million dollars, yeah. and you're like. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Like right. it's it become it becomes a cost of doing business. These guys didn't learn anything. That's they can't fish. They were on probation. And you know what? And like they say in big business, you know, if you're not cheating, you're not. Well, trying. And imagine how much fun they had during that whole stretch. They yeah. were they were Mr. Big D exactly. walking around. Everyone was like, "Man, Joe and Timmy yeah. out here rushing tournaments. What yeah. they doing?" And they're like, "Everyone's yeah. like, uh, shoulder." You know, and, and here's the, the big thing. house, the big boat, the big fish. And he, and but here's what kind of like I kind of my side of that is. So, yeah, you are. You're getting all that. People are like, man, these guys are killing it. Da, da, da. But, like, you know the whole time you're a fraud. Like, how can you, like, <laughs> stand in front of everyone and be out there talking about how good you are when you know 100% you're a fraud? Yeah. You see, and that, and see, the thing is, is that I could definitely accept the the uh, the fame and the money and the uh, accolades if I were, like, a fraud but putting the personality behind it to be like I'm the best is just that's some weird energy. It's like, like I don't know if is I that would like be a able sociopath. To... Like a little you, bit. It's like you have a problem. A little bit. Like being able to like go out there and just pretend. Like, now I mean now fake it till you make it is a thing, right? Yeah. Plenty of people have taken jobs and like I don't know what the hell to do. I'm just gonna fake it till I make it, and they yeah. eventually get it right. That happens. But to be a complete cheater and just be like, <sighs> yeah, I'm the best. Yeah, like. <laughs> 
like I, and just the game. Yeah, dude, like out there, I'm sure they were talking ish to people. Like they were probably like, I mean, <laughs> if you're the dude who's going that length, you're the dude who's talking shit. <laughs> what you got on your line there, buddy? A minnow? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Like, yeah, doing like the the uh, tennis club laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, he's feeding his goddamn fish quarters. He straightens his ascot and walks off. I thought the most wild part of that was that they were filleting other fish and jamming the fillets into yeah. the other fish's mouth. Yeah, well, that's how you hide the weights. You put the fillets, they're just like, oh, there's just fish in there. Yeah, they look in, it's just like, looks like fish guts. <laughs> oh, it's a cod fillet inside this bass. Yeah, yeah. It's like, know. there's just like a tail of a fish fillet coming out of his mouth. He's like... <laughs> that makes you wonder, though, honestly, and it's so it's so sad that this is what, like, literally America is, is that the fact that you basically have to, behind every great fortune is a great crime. So it's almost like you have to break the law to become rich. You have to put other people down to get to the top. You have to step on the back of your neighbor, your competitor, and sometimes your mentor. And your wife. To achieve, yes, your children. Yeah, I mean, They're, I'll put my kid in a in public school so I can get exactly. more boats. Exactly, you got to step over your neighbor's dying corpse to get to get a million. And his wife's. Yeah, and I honestly, I think that's a lot of the reason why a lot of uh, rich people like to give so much is because they did they some, some pretty they have Ill some guilt and shame about all the things they did. Skeletons, man, just piling up. Yeah. Because I mean, behind every great fortune is a great crime. Like, yeah, I did this thing, and that's what made me successful, and I'm a little ashamed about it. But you know what? I made it because of it. Does now. that make it okay, though? No. Can you, can, you, can you atone? You can atone through apology. You can atone through works as I don't well. know. I feel like that's a weird it, – well, it, it, it kind of it, – it's almost the same thing as, like, selling out. Whoa. In, Whoa. In, in, in a way. Atoning is like selling out. Well, no, no. Out. I mean, okay. like, I mean, cheating to get – Doing something, maybe doing something to get to the point where you're successful is almost like kind of like in the same thing as selling out. People are like, I'm not going to sell out. I'm not going to cheat to get to the top. Nah. But then like somebody's like, hey, here's a check for a million dollars. You're like, McDonald's is my favorite. You yes. know what I mean? Like immediately. So it's like if you had the opportunity to be like, if you had a fishing store in a town and you had a rival fishing store, if you could do something that would put them out of business so you would become the big dog. That's how you win. That's how you win. Yes. But do you feel bad for putting that family out? Of, that affects a lot of lives when you put out that the people who work there, the people who own the store, their but family, their dreams. But once you get big enough to become a, a pro bass shop, then you can return to that family. <laughs> and be like, and remember when I shut you down? <laughs> here's, a, here's, some, here's some weights to fluff up your fish in the tourney. You can return to that family you put out of business, Jonas, and get them a brand new BMW. Well, they're dead. The kid's a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> the, the store closed they lost their income the woman left the man the dad became a drunk the kid got became a crackhead the dad got in a drunk driving accident the kids, rehab for the kids aa for the husband new husband for the old wife she don't Boom. need that she, she got out of there dude i'm she, bass she, pro shop i can afford she married it up she good. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. She probably married me because I own Bass Pro <laughs> Shop like, now. She just walks into Bass Pro. She's like, TNT, I really want to be married to a Bass Pro guy. Yeah. You're, you're a Bass Pro ass right you're now. Damn right. Your husband was rocking a minnow. <laughs> got a, what's in his pants over there? I see a minnow. There's a goddamn bass in I've got a great white. A I'm great, sorry, wait, I don't know. Wait, a great that, white? I got a great white in my boxers. I did not start calling it the great white. <laughs> that is. <laughs> I don't even call mine the Great White. You should though. You can pull it off. Uh, uh, it's not. I don't. It's think a it, little. It's a little weird though, right? It kind of. I, I think. I think naming your penis is weird in general. You never. You never were one to do that. No, I remember like being you, like younger and like friends would be like, oh, ho, ho, whatever name like with his girl, and I'm like, it's kind of gross. Like is just it? talking, just like, oh, I'll be like, oh, like, oh, Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna... That's a terrible penis name. <laughs> I used to call mine Spike. Spike? Ah, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. gonna stab you, girl. <laughs> Down, boy. <laughs> Down, boy. I mean, whatever whatever works, right? I don't know. Tactic. I, row, 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 row. <laughs> <laughs> Chase girls around the house like that. I did. What? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, get the, she's like, get the hell out of here with that thing. 
Oh, that's funny. Oh my so, God. but anyways, what do you need? No, uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. We'll leave it there, I guess. Uh, the go to the crazy for Jonas. TNT. Yep.